Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to export your character model to an external program in order to paint the diffuse map for wrinkles after completing the expressions using face tools. After you've completed your character's expression set, you can export the model as an OBJ file to your preferred painting software. Although all 13 expressions have wrinkles that can be painted, you don't need to export them individually since they can be merged into four expression sets. This means that you only need to export four models to cover all of the expressions. If you're not yet familiar with the wrinkle system in Character Creator, please refer to the dedicated tutorials on our Reillusion Courses page or YouTube channel. These four models display the various wrinkle areas that need to be painted individually. As mentioned, we'll want to start off by exporting the four OBJs along with the diffuse maps. In Face Tools, there is a dedicated button to export all of the relevant OBJs at once. When finished, you'll see four sets, each containing a diffuse, normal, material, and OBJ file, along with a separate detail layer normal. You'll notice that all four diffuse maps look identical, which is why we need to paint them. In this case, we're going to use Substance Painter for painting. Start off by importing your first wrinkle set, including OBJ, normal, and diffuse maps. If we look briefly at face tools, we can see that we're currently painting wrinkle set 1. It's crucial here to know where the wrinkles are, so we can use the normal map as a reference. However, we naturally only want to draw on the diffuse maps. Once painting of the diffuse maps is finished, we need to import everything back into Character Creator. In the Wrinkles tab of the Modify panel, click on Individualize for each diffuse map in the Texture Settings section. Then click and drag the proper diffuse to the diffuse map slot for its respective set. However, you'll notice that we have four diffuse maps and only three wrinkle sets in CC. To get the correct wrinkle diffuse for set 1 in CC, we need to merge the diffuse maps we created for set 1 and set 1 too. To do this, I'll first ensure I have both diffuse maps loaded into Photoshop. Now to properly merge them, we need to use Mask Textures, which you can find by clicking on the Find Wrinkle Masks button. In this case, I want to utilize both masks labeled 1, 2, which happen to be for Jaw Open and Eye Blink. Then the merging begins in Photoshop. First we want to duplicate the Jaw Open mask to the Eye Blink one, then select the Eyebrow Masked area and paste it to the Jaw layer so we have both masks on a single layer. Then we can merge both layers for our completed mask map. I'll then select and copy that whole mask layer, create a mask on our Set 1 2 Diffuse Texture Map, and hold Alt and click on it to enter editing mode. From there, just paste it in, being sure to resize it appropriately, and apply. This masks out the areas that we don't need, and we can proceed then to duplicate that layer to the Set 1 Diffuse Texture Map. We then want to export the updated map as a PNG and rename it to indicate the merge we just performed. That merged map is the one that we want to put into the Set 1 Diffuse slot. Once that's set, we can test out the results using the Edit Facial tool. You can see now that we have much more detailed results when we scrunch up the nose and give our character a smile. That's about it for this tutorial for editing your model's wrinkle maps in an external painting software and then re-importing it into Character Creator. Hopefully this video is helpful and I hope to see you in the next one.